Through the IPC, it's very easy to teach them different um, ways to the children to cater for their different learning needs. The fabulous cross-curricular and creative means that you can bring in all those different ideas. Um, for your visual learners, it's very visual. There's lots of art, there's lots of movies, there's lots of presentations. Um, there's lots for the children to see, there's lots for them to read. It's very creative. I'm going to the garden centre. And it can also be very, very personal to the children as well because there's a lot of research elements to it as well. So they can go away, research things which are interesting to them and come back in, do work on that in their own way and share their learning with me. What kind of parrot was the name of the parrot that lived in the rainforest? <gasps> Diaz. Scarlet McCall. Scarlet McCall. We've, we've ranged from PowerPoint presentations to the children writing reports, the children filming themselves, recording themselves, um, producing work to share in assemblies, um, pictures, lots of art form, lots of different ways to record. I mean, how do you find it different showing your learning using art to writing? When you, you're painting it, you see what it's like, but when you're writing it, it's just telling you about it. It's just telling you about it. And where, where do you have to, if, it's, if you're reading a piece of writing, where do you have to see it? In your mind. In your mind, in your imagination. The unit that we're currently doing at the moment is famous and significant people who've made a difference around the world. And through that, we've looked at a range of people from the Tudors to Nelson Mandela, who we're currently focusing on. And with Nelson Mandela, we've been able to bring in the aspects of apartheid and racism, discrimination. The children have been able to learn about how he helped to overcome that. They've been able to learn about the history of South Africa and colonialism and they've also been able to relate it to their own lives to racism today and around the world today and also relating that to the current world with Barack Obama.